So we are at Red Lobster again for their Lobster Fest. And look what I got to drink, the Lobster Caesar. And they got a big piece of lobster on there. Oh, I can't wait to try this. That's pretty awesome. That's fine. So we got stuffed, stuffed mushrooms. I forget what's inside of them, but it looks really pretty good. And then of course the Red Lobster Biscuits. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Look at this. This is the Lover's Lobster fe Feast that I have here. Awesome. And Rob has the what? Uh, Admiral. Admiral Feast. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Oh my God, it smells so good. Hello there, my darlings, and welcome to another episode of What's for Dinner Tonight. And welcome to Mrs. Cotton Candy's Darling Life. I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day or evening when you're watching this. And I just have some red pepper and some fresh garlic chopped here. And I'm just trying to get, see the, I don't know if you can see like the dark marks here. I'm just trying to get them to kind of grill like that. So I can probably just turn this off now. I'm... I should tell you, I'm just doing like a wieners and beans. It's a, a weeknight, so I've got my uh, beans in here. That's what the beans look like. They're um, Clark's beans with tomato sauce. So you just get your favorite beans, whatever you like. And, and then back here, um, I have some wieners boiling up. So I'll chop that and put that into the beans. And put that into the beans and that's my wieners means uh, feel free to put like if you want to chop your onions and put onions in there and green pepper and whatever other vegetables go right ahead but this is what I do um, I mean I love food but there are some foods that I really don't like and my top one that I cannot eat is onions so um, just feel free to do what you'd like and it's a very easy quick meal for a weeknight I'll be back to show you what it looks like in the end So there you have it, my darlings, my wieners and beans. I realize it doesn't really look like much, but it actually tastes really, really yummy. And I used to, in college, just a little quick little story here in college, I used to eat um, this can. Sorry, this clan. It doesn't have to be this brand, but the beans with the tomato sauce. I would just open it up and just eat it <laughs> cold even. Um, but I just love this and this is really quick and easy and like I said you can add a whole bunch of stuff to it if you'd like and it's totally up to you and a nice piece of uh, crusty bread or some French bread or something um, or uh, bun or something would be nice as well so that's what's for dinner tonight my darlings thank you so so much for watching for all your love and support happy eating and till next time remember to believe in yourself I believe in you, and you truly will go far. Toodaloo. Thank you so, so much. So it's Sunday, and it's lunchtime, and I'm making this Knorr cream of broccoli soup. It says no, artif no artificial colors or flavors, and they also say it here, low in fat, and it's made with sustainable, sorry for the glare, um, sustainable um, grown broccoli, which I thought was awesome. And this is very easy. You just follow the instructions. I mean, you could put, add some more actual broccoli into it if you wanted to. And then I'm going to be pairing it with this um, white bread. It's from the bakery. Um, it came in this. I think I've shown you this before. Anyways, here is what we're having. Here's the soup. The cream of broccoli soup and the lovely crusted bread and such an easy nice afternoon uh, lunch on Sunday especially when it's nasty out today it's really nasty we're having uh, pouring rain with really um, bad uh, thunderstorms but anyway so this is what we're having and like I said you could probably add real broccoli to this if you'd like uh, my husband and I had um, the cream of asparagus a few days back and it was lovely and um, we got this, these packets on um, the 
Dollar Days at No Frills. So the, the soup only costs a dollar and it makes exactly, it says four servings, it says, it says on the package and it makes exactly that. So here's what we're having. And I wish you could all join us. I'd obviously have to make more probably, but anyways, something easy and yummy for our tummies.